In this video, we will discuss the reduction formula for trigonometry. Now, a reduction formula is to reduce a trig ratio of any angle to a trig ratio of an acute angle. And remember, an acute angle is an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. So let's quickly refresh your memory on quadrants. Quadrant 1 is the area between 0 and 90 degrees. So theta would be smaller than 90 degrees and bigger than 0 in this quadrant. Quadrant 2 is where the angle size is smaller than 180 degrees but bigger than 90 degrees. Quadrant 3 is where the angle is between 180 and 270 degrees. And quadrant 4 is from 270 up until 360 degrees. And you also learn that every trig ratio is positive in quadrant 1, that only sine is positive in quadrant 2, that tan is positive in quadrant 3, and that cosine is positive in quadrant 4. But what we want to do with reduction formula is reduce any angle in any quadrant to the first quadrant. So we want to rewrite any expression in the form of an acute angle, meaning between 0 and 90 degrees. And what we'll do is we'll take it from the second quadrant backwards, from the third quadrant back, and from the fourth quadrant all the way back. So let us say that I have an angle in the second quadrant. The size of that angle would be 180 degrees minus theta. So the angle formed between the line and the horizontal axis would be equal to theta. But if I want to find the actual angle size, it is 180 degrees minus theta. So if I have an angle in the second quadrant, I would use 180 degrees minus theta in order to find or rewrite it in terms of an acute angle. If the angle is in the third quadrant, I went 180 degrees and another piece of theta. So this full angle size would be 180 degrees plus theta, where theta represents an angle that's an acute angle. And if the angle that I'm looking at is in the fourth quadrant, I can go a full 360 degrees and then move back by the angle size of theta. So just to recap, if the angle is between 0 and 90 degrees, we'll see it as theta. If it's in the second quadrant, we'll replace it with 180 minus theta. And in the third quadrant, it is 180 plus theta. And in the fourth quadrant, it will be 306 degrees minus theta. And I'll use these expressions to help me reduce the angles to an angle of theta or an acute angle. So let us focus for a moment on quadrant 2. So if I have an angle of sine in this quadrant and I rewrite it as an acute angle where theta is an acute angle, I know that sine is positive in quadrant 2. Therefore, sine of 180 minus theta would be equal to sine of theta. And if I have an angle of cos in the second quadrant, I know that cosine is negative in quadrant 2. So if I reduce it, it will be equal to negative cos of theta. And for tan, 180 minus theta, I know that tan is negative there, so it will reduce to negative tan of theta. So I'm using the reduction formula to rewrite a trigonometric ratio in terms of an acute angle. So in the third quadrant, we will use 180 plus theta to help us reduce the angle to an acute angle in the first quadrant or an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. And in the third quadrant, tan is the only trick ratio that is positive. So tan 180 plus theta would be positive tan theta. Sine and cosine both are negative in the third quadrant. So sine 180 plus theta and cos 180 plus theta 
will both reduce to a negative sine theta and negative cos theta. In the fourth quadrant, we'll use 360 degrees minus theta to help us reduce to an angle in the first quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So cosine of 360 minus theta, which reduce to cos theta, where sine and tan both reduce to negative tan theta and negative sine theta. And this will help me reduce all of these angles to an angle size fitting in the first quadrant. And in one of our other videos, I'll show you examples on how to apply these reduction formulas to rewrite any trig ratio.